Hey Scorpio, it's Mama TPG with One Love, One Light Tarot. Welcome to your love story. So I'm going to use the animal spirit from the wild unknown to get the energy of you and who you are connected with. If you are single, then this is whoever you have in mind. Um, it may not resonate with anybody and the energies may be interchangeable. So spirit, what is the energy for Scorpio? And we have the sea serpent. So the sea serpent is, you know, all about the sacral chakra and healing of your emotions, of your emotional body. Okay. What is the energy of their connection for this love story? And we have lion and this is could be a fire sign that you're dealing with but the lion is that you know peace and strength but you know it can be like too serious so um, especially when we're dealing with healing of emotions um, there may that may create some conflict here but let's see what the energy for the relationship is right now and we have the mouse so this is you know, earth energy and the mouse is all about um, being resourceful, but like needing a purpose. Okay. So, you know, there could be a little bit of, you know, like, what are we doing here? And it may be a time to evaluate, um, but let's, let's get the full picture here. So what does the sea serpent have to tell us? All right, so this is healing emotional wounds and expressing your desire. Okay, and this may be something that you have difficulty with. So it says the sea serpent represents the energy of expression, whether it's emotions, creativity, sensuality, or desire. The sea serpent helps us move and direct our energy into a healthy current. When the essence of this card is in balance, we express ourselves creatively and sexually without fear or shame. We know what we desire most. Our hearts are at ease and our relationships are meaningful and enduring. We loosen the grip of self-judgment and we let the cool waters of forgiveness in to heal our wounds. When the energy of the sea serpent is not yet activated, our emotions and creativity are left in the muddy waters. The current of expression stagnates in some areas of our lives and in other places it floods. It's important to remember no matter what the waters of our emotional lives look like, the sea serpent loves us just the same. Like a mother, she wraps herself around us in a gesture of protection. She supports us as we learn to express our true natures. And I feel like this is really important for Scorpio because this is all about, you know, Scorpios are deep emotional, you know, deep waters here. So, so let's see what this lion has to say. Okay, lion. The lion is patient, regal, and a complete master. The lion is a master of the fire element and the living mascot of self-transformation. A lion personality dedicates their life to personal and spiritual growth. This dedication inspires some and intimidates others. Therefore, the lion is respected by all, but known intimately by few. Some mistake the lion as hard to access or aloof, yet those with a keener eye know better. Lions are observant, stealth, and precise in their words and action. They do not waste energy or resources. This card reminds us that self-mastery is available to all no matter where our quest begins. So when in balance, the epitome of peace and strength, but when out of balance, withdrawn and too serious. So and this is, we're used to seeing like Leo energy, and this is not specifically Leo. This is the lion, okay? So the Leo can be a little bit more loving and caring that um, representation, but the lion specifically with this fire energy, I feel like it's too serious and it may bring um, almost um, too much practicality to things. So let's see what it says for the mouse for your relationship. Okay, so that is earth. Let me find, these are a little difficult to find because they are not numbered. <laughs> And so you just got to go to, let's see here. 
Okay. Detail-oriented, small-minded, nitpicky, and nervous. The mouse has an innate desire to tend to the details. It often spends its days fixing, preparing, organizing, and scrutinizing. Unfortunately, a mouse personality doesn't notice when they've gone too far. Soon they begin to have a limited and fearful vision of life and try to control every detail. This can be quite a painful experience for both the mouse and those around them. When mouse energy is at play, step back for a moment. It may be time to find a more purposeful project to delve into, one that's worthy of your exacting eye. So when in balance, organize, resourceful, and prepared. And when out of balance, busy with no purpose. So I feel like there's a control element here. And if you're dealing with, you know, trying to balance your sacral chakra, this is the last thing you need. And I'm not saying that you don't need each other. What I'm saying is at, you might be going through a very um, difficult time within this relationship. So let's see what's going on with this sea serpent, whether this is you or the other person, because I could kind of see the lion as also being you. So um, however it resonates for you. So what is going on with this sea serpent? And we have the two of pentacles and that butterfly is signifying a lot of transformation um, and beauty but we'll see how this plays out what else is there for the sea serpent and we have judgment all right and the high priestess okay so this is definitely talking about some deep feminine issues is what I'm getting. So there is, you know, something that is kind of, um, for the sea serpent, there's, there might be a little bit of, you know, being torn between two things, two people. It could be two, um, two jobs. It could be, you know, two energies, but there's kind of feeling torn and, if this is about the lion, then um, obviously there's someone else in in the mix here. Um, but this is meant to lead you towards um, a reunion, whether it's with this lion or with um, someone else. So I feel like there's a current energy of like that um, reunion or um, um, reconciliation energy here. But there are some, you know, deep-seated secrets here. There's something um, hidden, and this could be needing to do that inner child work and be able to reveal certain things to yourself, or this could be your intuition is going crazy, like, you know, um, needing to, you know, like, has a feeling about something and, um, and you're not sure what it is, okay? What is going on with this lion here? Whether this is you or we have the Eight of Pentacles or your connection. So the Eight of Pentacles, the Eight of Pentacles. And we have the Hierophant. So it could be dealing with a Taurus. Doesn't have to be. And then we have death and that is you. But let's see. So for the eight of pentacles to come out in a love reading we're talking about control again something that's the forcing the issue it's like we keep going through the same pattern or something and but the hierophant is really a formal declaration this could be a formal de declaration of like um marriage or could be a formal declaration of divorce with this death card coming here so the death card is, you know, it's about really deciding is, is it time? And I feel like this is something that the lion is contemplating. Is there a need to end this relationship? And it's something that they're going over and over and over. All right. So let's look at what's going on for the relationship. And we have temperance. Okay. What else? We have the two of wands. 
and the Wheel of Fortune. So it's funny how like it's all mostly black and white here and all the color comes here. So it could, you know, could represent that really you bring out the best in each other. Could be that you're bringing out the worst as well. So there's a need to change things up. Like things have gotten dull. There feels like there's really no purpose here. This two of wands is concerning though, because the two of wands in a, in a love reading is really about, you know, evaluating together. Is it time to move on? And the Wheel of Fortune is all about karma, right? And, and I feel like in this reading, the Wheel of Fortune is, you know, really, it kind of looks chaotic here. And I feel like there's been a lot that's gone on um, in this relationship. And to have this as the, you know, because this is kind of like past, present, future. This could be past, present, future. So in the future, I just feel like, you know, this is going to ultimately end. Um, but there are, I feel like there's lessons to be learned here. So it may not be over yet. There may be some unfinished business here. And that's what I'm getting, especially with this judgment card. This is about, you know, knowing that there is a higher purpose to this. It doesn't mean that it's going to last forever, though. And if it's not going to end, then I feel like the cycle of the relationship is going to end and there could be something brand new, some new cycle for this relationship. And it could have a lot to do with clearing this sacral chakra because that's where your intimacy and emotional balance is really going to come from. So let's look at, let's use this bolt beyond Lemuria and see what is the soul lesson that is being worked on with this relationship. What's the soul lesson here? And we have endless opportunities, number 23. All right, so let's see what that is talking about. Number 23. All right, so it says you have options and opportunities you may not have realized. The universe wants to give you what you want. It's all there, so reach out and wholeheartedly choose it. While you sit on the fence, your experiences are diluted or confusing. We live in a time of choices. Sometimes reasons and limitations, limitation direct our, our choices and we feel unfulfilled as a result. Choose life from a place of heart, compassion, and integrity and you can't go wrong. So I feel like, you know, with this coming out on this two of wands, I feel like it's really about looking at your relationship and saying, is this what we want? Is there enough here to really work on and expand and grow and create a new, you know, move on to a new cycle? Or this is about starting a new cycle elsewhere. Okay, so I definitely feel the pain of this. It's, um, it's heavy, but I feel like there may, you know, it's going to play out different for each of you as far as um, the outcome. So let's see what you're working on or the sea serpent, whoever that is in this connection, whether that's you or the other person, what are they working on right now? Okay. And we get peacock, raise your standards. Okay. So I feel like, you know, you don't want to be an option, you know, um, or maybe this is you thinking that you can do better, you know, and, and, um, there's nothing wrong with that. It's about raising your standards and not being so accepting of, you know, whatever someone else is willing to offer. If it doesn't resonate, if it doesn't bring fulfillment, then it might be time to move on. But it's also about raising your own standards for yourself. Okay. Being proud and fulfilled within yourself and not just looking for it somewhere else. Okay, and what do we have for the lion here? And we have intuition. Trust your intuition. So whether this is you or the other connection, this is, you know, there are some things that are blocking that third eye, that, that intuitive um, knowing about things. And so, um, you know, I think of the lion as very instinctual, but they also can be very... Um, patterned based on how they were raised and their own 
things that they learned. So there could be some blockages there as far as the intuition. Okay, so let's see what's going to happen here. What's, what's next for this couple, for this connection? What's next in this love story here? And we have the Page of Wands. We have the Two of Swords. And it says uncertainty, ideas, uncertainty. Oops, we got one that jumped out. And we have the moon. So I feel like there's still a lot of shadow work that needs to be done. I did discuss that a little bit with this high priestess and with this death card. So I feel like there's some shadow work that needs to be done, some confronting blockages within. Um, there may be some secrets here, um, but as far as love goes, I mean, this page of wands is not a really stable energy. This is very kind of lustful energy and, you know, it's almost to the point of like, um, raunchy, if you will. Um, and then with this two of swords, I just feel like there's a need to really follow your heart. And I feel like this is advice to both of you. It's like, raise the standards of what you want, um, you know, to an inspirational level. Okay, raise your standards as far as what you want out of a relationship. And then the moon is really talking about there is something. We have the two of pentacles and the moon is really talking about there is something that is coming between you two. And it could be a person, it could be a third party, but it could just be you know, a hobby, it could be friends, it could be work, it could be anything um, that's different for all of you, but there is something that needs to be resolved that's coming in between you. And, um, you know, it just depends on if you make that decision to decide that it's worth working through together. Um, it could very well be something that would benefit from being a part um, to work through. All right, so let's get a... Um, guardian angel card for this love story to close this out okay and we have a prayer dear god help me always to remember that this present life is but a flee fleeting moment within eternity help me always to remember that you exist within everyone and everything Help me always to remember that love is all there is and all else is an illusion. Thank you. All right. That is what came through for you, Scorpio. I feel like there's a lot of good points to look at and evaluate within your own life, within your own relationship. And let me know how it turns out for you. Remember, the universe has your back and so do I. Take care.